What's going on, everybody? Back at it again with another NDA podcast. I'm Gronk here at my boys, K Million Wex. Oh. Good, everyone. And today we got a special, special episode. We are doing the draft episode. Today we are analyzing everyone's teams, the draft in general, and we're going to tell you what we think. So without further ado, I think we should get started. Uh, so for the draft, when we uh, had it in two days with I was gonna say, teams. Here what we're doing, we're doing, we're doing it. We're making this video already. Who would have yeah. thought? Oh, it's, honestly, it's honestly crazy how fast we're doing this video. I thought this was going to take at least a week. It took not even two days. Like, we really grinded on this and big ups to everybody who's playing this season. It's absolutely insane that a 14 team league is able to get through this so quickly. So shout out everybody. Like last, last season we did it in like three, three days, which is still really good. But, and then we thought it was going to be even longer this season because we added two more teams. One of those teams has a way different time zone than most of us. And all the hectic, like new mons, like the restricted and stuff, like just thought this was going to go a lot longer than it was. And I'm shocked that we're making this video already. In for me, I've just fin like I've literally just finished editing the last episode, and I've had a lot of problems with it. So this is just even more stress. But uh, it's all it's all <laughs> good humor. I, I chose to do this, so it's, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, the support's been good in all the other videos. We're excited to keep making these ones. We had a draft ended. The hype's still there. We want to get these videos out. So, um, I you, actually like have I actually want to go over something specifically. Uh, so last episode we talked about Mons. We thought we're gonna go early, and I think oh, true, we true. all consensusly said Groudon was gonna be top five, if not <laughs> top like eight. Uh, I'm gonna go back through this now, and I'm gonna do a count real quick. So Groudon wasn't taken till what the third round. Well, see, Some, it was one of those things where mm -hmm. like it was one of those things where it fell. And then it went to a late round because the team decided that they could wait on their restricted. Yeah. So it went the way that we thought, essentially. Uh, so Galio, actually, was it so, so Galio? Yeah, so Galio went first, and then obviously Zacian crowned second. Uh, Raichu third. And we're, I'm, obviously, we're not going to go over every single pick, but Raichu third kind of shocked me. What do you guys feel about the pick? I thought it's a little early to take a third, but at the same time, it offers really cool options. Especially now that it can run Sing. Shout out to Freak and Nintendo for that one. That random release Pikachu that can learn Sing. So now we all have to be tortured with Sing Raichu. But, I mean, it's a fast fake out mon, and it gets good moves like Charm, Eerie Impulse. And obviously, it can even run Surf to proc certain weakness policies. I don't think, we'll get into it, but I don't think that helps this team. But it is something that can do. And just, it's a decent, speedy special attacker. And it has good coverage. I think it's a good pick, but a little high at the same time. I think the courts wanted to move up in the draft, but... Um, yeah, that, that was the thing. Pick em, he thinking. had a Pick'em's winner to move up to third. Take Raichu. It's something to think about. And I guess he didn't want to be sniped. Like, I think he could have like went even at the very last pick like, in the first round and still could have got it. Um, no, it is still a good pick. Like, it's a good man. One of the best supports in it. Um, yeah. Especially, like, he grabbed Tangrowth, I think, in round two. So, he clearly just wanted his supports first, which... I feel like a better... Good. Not to cut you off or anything, but I, I do feel like a, a better thing would be to... If you're definitely going to go Raichu, one thing you could do is go and try to do, like, a weakness policy set with the Surf. Uh... Maybe if you really wanted to, because Raichu gets Lightning Rod, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. It does, yeah. So you could either you pair it with pair. something that is going to take a super effective hit, maybe even like a, a Moltres or something, and Surf, or a Groudon and Surf, and that way it does even less damage, right? So there's a lot of options, but I, we'll get into specific teams in a bit. So yeah, we'll let's, talk let's, about its synergy later. We'll keep, keep moving uh, along. Yeah, we'll, we'll jump back to like the first round. Uh, obviously, Restrictors went left and right. 
A lot of setup mons went as well. You saw Kumpfei actually go before Whimsicott. How do you guys yeah. feel about that? Kumpfei before Whimsicott? Pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Pick before Kumpfei. I, draft, I drafted it for a time. I was like, in my head, I was like, okay, I'm going to pick Kumpfei probably second round. Um, so I just have that synergy. But I was the person who kept Ryder's pick for Kumpfei, so I had to put in the event yeah. and Kumpfei one after one. And I was like, well, snipe myself there, so I mean, there's that. Yeah. Okay, what do you want? Oh, the Mon that I was going to draft next? Oh, yeah, no, I'll draft that for you, no problem. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it kind of feels fall. bad. It's like the one okay. meme with the uh, the angry face underneath the mask of the the happy face. <laughs> <laughs> that's essentially what Wex was. That was me. That was me. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a great pick. Honestly, I love the Mon. Floral healing is going to be big in this, I think. Oh, absolutely. I don't know. Kevin. I want to talk about the uh, hold on. I want to talk the a lot of steel type restricteds taken in the first round. Mm -hmm. That's that's a big trend. We got Sogaleo, Dialga, and Necrozma Dustbane. Zacian. All three taken in the first round. Oh, and Zacian. Okay, Zam and Zam ground. Bro, five of them. I was just count. I didn't even think about those two. That that's bad. Okay. That's five steel type restricteds in the first round. I think there's gonna be a little trend this year. Yeah. And with my draft specifically, I knew if I was going to be taking Dialga, something that's dragon steel typing. So it's only weak to fighting, and it's only weak to ground. I knew I needed something that's in a grassy terrain. So I picked up Rillaboom second, G-Max. And I feel like that's really good synergy with Dialga. Now, for other people picking the steel types, I feel like steel is such a good typing now. Uh, especially with the prominence of fairy types doing a lot of damage and being uh you know just fairy things so overall i'm not surprised in fact i mean dust me charisma probably could even gone earlier in my opinion someone probably should have picked it up earlier over like maybe even over like calyrex shadow maybe i could see that uh over raichu obviously but <laughs> yeah i'm not surprised i'm not surprised I think it has to do with the new format. Like, Not us. Dynamax. And these bulky steel types benefit so much from double health. Like, health like when you max. They're just so bulky and so hard to kill. And a lot of mons have seen that with. Because now weakness policy is such a big item. So. These mons are just going to be so huge in this draft format. Like, you can't hit them with a super effective move, or you're going to get hit hard back. Exactly, exactly. Now, scrolling through the draft, you saw Crobat get taken. I believe this is first round still. Yeah. So, that was, that was something that shocked me, because I don't think anyone picked up Crobat last season. No, I didn't realize how good of a Tailwind setter it was, because yeah, I just didn't... Good. Inner focus tailwind just didn't like it never registered in my mind and with 130 base speed i think it is and most things aren't outspeeding it like it gets pretty reliable tailwind setup and it's got a good typing i think it could be it could prove to be a really good pick they're very interesting spot to grab it first round but excited to see what harrison does with it for sure yeah, absolutely. Another, but I think this should be the last one we talk about before we try to hop into the team previews. Tornadus taken middle of the second round, essentially. We predicted I'm, that to go a lot higher. Yeah, <laughs> I'm super yeah. surprised it took that long. It right? fell to the it fell to the Kyogre team too. We're all in trouble. <laughs> trouble? Yeah, that's probably the best support mon to pair a Kyogre. I, I, I think, anyway. I don't think anything's better. I don't think Whimsicott's better. But, dang. Definitely. Kyogre with Tailwind support, and then the 100% accurate Hurricanes that Tornadus now gets, that, that that's the synergy between those two mons is, is real. Like, you can, it makes you so you don't have to run Scarf Kyogre every week. You can t set up a Tailwind and click your spout for free. Like it's it's crazy. It's such a good combination. Absolutely, absolutely. 
All right. Well, that was the first couple of rounds of the draft. Obviously, we mentioned that it went really quickly, and we're really proud of everybody for really putting their nose down and getting through it. So with that being said, I think we should start looking at these teams. And the first team we should start off with is none other than K Millie One Three Two's team himself. <sighs> I'm not happy with my team. I'm let's be honest. I'm really not happy with it. I got sniped more times than I care to admit, and I didn't even plan. Like I didn't plan on purpose. On I wanted purpose. to see where the draft went. I wanted to see how the draft flowed, what would fall to me late, and it just didn't go how I thought it would at all. Not even a little bit. Um, I had Zamazenta in our predictions going very early, and then it fell to me all the way at 13. And, like I had the option to take Zacian in the, if, if I took the first overall pick. I just decided against it, and Zamazenta fell to me, and I feel like that was... It, like It fell to me, so I felt like I had to take it, but at the same time, I could have just taken Zacian first, which is arguably, obviously, better. So I feel like it was sort of a waste, but I'm excited to see how I can get it to work. Um... Like, my A tier mons just got snuck. Like, I wanted Weezing and Reggie Gigas, which we'll talk about later, which got sniped for me. I feel like that gives me a lot of offensive, like, firepower. And instead, I'm more of a bulky, almost have a trick room option now. Yeah. I just feel like. I don't feel like it's a bad team. I just feel like it didn't go where I wanted it to. And I'm really going to have to outplay some people or then rely on, like, my team build. Like, I feel like last season, my draft was so good that, like, even if I did had an off week, I could still pull out victories. Whereas this week, I'm going to have to be on my stuff every week and prep really hard so this team gets some gets some wins. I don't know. What do you... I'm biased. So what do you guys think? Lay it on me. Well... Wex, unless you have a take and you want to go first. Uh, I mean, I don't think your team is awful, right? I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's the worst team. I don't think it's the best team. The best team, in my opinion, has to be either Mac or Riolu. Those teams are pretty yeah. scary. And you can't sleep on Germ's team either. Um, we'll get to them. But your team, yeah, we'll get to them. But your team, I mean, you get Thunderous. You have Zamazenta. You could pair it with literally anything, and it's going to do well. Or you can have it as a sweeper in the back. Uh, there's, Like you said, there's not a lot of firepower. There's a lot of things you can do. You can do Trick Room with Dragalge. Maybe give it an Iron Ball if needed that week. But another thing that I noticed is there's not a lot of real good Trick Room options for a lot of people. right? Like If you look at like other people's teams, like look at their lowest speed mon. Right. A lot of the time, their lowest speed mod is in C tier, and then everything else is like 50 or above, right? Like, Max team is really good in Trick Room, and I think that's the only one that's going to be really good in Trick Room. I'm, yeah. I'm just peeking right now. Uh, like, my team okay. isn't bad Gummy in Trick Bear. Room. Gummies. Gummies is going to be okay. In it's going to be really good in Trick Room, actually. But if I can set it up, I think I, my team is and I bring the right team for it, I think my team can do well in Trick Room with, mm -hmm. like, obviously Gothitelle to set it, and have Dragalge, Aperus, Marowak, and Avalug. Like, they're all my C-tier mons, but with proper... They're no joke in C-tier, I think. My C-tier is... I think my C-tier is really powerful. I'm kind of happy with that. Yeah, it is and, really good C-tier. Yeah. I don't think anyone's C-tier is too awful. And the ones that I don't like are the ones that I don't I'm not familiar with per se. Yeah. So. Um any thoughts? I was just gonna say I've used a couple of the mons you have. Like I've used um I used Marowak um alone and obviously in season two and I loved it. Um Mar I was actually thinking of picking up Marowak this season. Um but you got there way before me, so I mean there's that. Serena stopping priority is gonna be huge. Um priorities <laughs> Bird is going to be a big thing. I think Mac has it covered with Psychic Terrain. Apart from that, a lot of people are going to be running for already new. Um, I've used Dragology before, and Dragology is extremely good in Trick Room. No one wants to hit a weakness policy boost in adaptability. So, um, yeah, Dragology was the answer to Naganadal, or Nag I don't know how to pronounce that Pokemon. That's got a yeah. weird name. That's how Naganadal, Naganadal, I don't know. 
I wanted that, and it got sniped. And I was like, alright, well, I have Gothitelle, that's a decent trick room mon. I can still grab a poison and dragon type. Um, Gothitelle was the answer to not really the, like the replacement, but that's what I did after um, Regigigas got sniped, because I think it had a good synergy with Lapras. Trapping Mons and Parasong is... I think it could win me some games if someone doesn't prep for it properly. And the last thing I want to talk about is uh, Lapras. I took Lapras, my a C tier mon. So normal Lapras is tiered at C in our league, and G Max Lapras is tiered at S. And we m- voted that we tier the separate forms properly. However, if one gets taken, the other one doesn't get. Like, it's not allowed. So, essentially, me taking Lapras at C tier gives me a bulky water type and allows no one else to take G Max Lapras. So, for the first time in NDA history, we don't <laughs> have to deal with G Max Lapras. And I just want to say to all the other coaches, you're welcome. I think we have to move on to Ryder's team now. Ryder, the coach of the San Diego Wright, who's newly um, rebranded. Rebranded? Our guest from last week. Um, finally branded to something closer to home. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think about his team? Well, um, I like his team, but I'm sort of confused on what it's supposed to do. Right. So he was, he was in chat, and he basically just covered... All for he just drafted a bunch of ice resists for his S tier, which he took in the last round. He waited all the way. He just drafted a bunch of ice resists for Zygarde, which starts off in fifty percent form, and once it loses half its health, it basically basically regains full health because it transforms into Zygarde full, which. HP is doubled than the normal the 50% sidecard. It's a really weird gimmick. But like most dragon types, it is four times weak ice. So you kinda have to one shot it or gonna set up on you and do big things. A lot of his mons he drafted have big ice weaknesses, like his other S tier, Celestila. I think it looks like and he has reliable weakness policy proc with Comfey. And healing with Comfey to make Zygarde really annoying. I think Ryder's a really good coach, so I rate this team pretty highly. It doesn't look like it's much on team preview, but Ryder will play it so well, I think. So I'm excited to see what he does with it. Is Ice super effective against Steel Flying? Like, is it neutral against Steel? Yes, it's it's resist Steel resists Ice. So Celestial is Steel Flying. It's neutral. Yeah, That's but what I it's, thought. You it's said a, super effective. I didn't. No, I'm saying it's. He has okay. a bunch of resists. Oh, you're back. Sorry, if I, <laughs> sorry if I missed. It, I misspoke. But Celestia doesn't resist it, but it's just a bulky mon that it covers it well. And he has a bunch of like Wall Rain, Magnazone, uh, Thick Fat, Licky Tongue, Polyrath. Like they all resist ice. So they're and Rotom. I forgot Rotom Fire type. He has a lot of good things against ice. So. I think that was a good idea. That's what I was trying to say. I didn't know if I misspoke or not. Yeah. Um, but even then, he has a lot of things that resist it. He has Zygarde, Togetic, Trevenant, and Zatu that all are super effective uh, to ice. So, I mean, it it's... You definitely still bring an ice type against his team. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But there is... If he switches out properly, there is going to be punishment, and it's not going to be pretty. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm not a huge fan. I, I'm excited to see what it does because I'm not, as I said, I'm not familiar with some of the, you know, intricacies of this team specifically, but we'll, we'll see. We'll find out. I think, I think it's definitely above average, but a 10 me, out of 10, I'd give it, I'd give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. 10. Maybe maybe a thinking. nine out of ten, depending on how how he uses it. But I don't think it's a ten out of ten. I don't think I can give it a ten out of ten. You can see what's doing more than your team, Kevin. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Kevin, I'd give your team like a six out of ten. 
Six is generous. I appreciate that. Yeah. So. Next down the list is our buddy Wex. Wex, what? Talk about your draft. Um. So, because of the right you going third, I was a I was either guaranteed Kyogre or Evel Valent. Not gonna lie, I was thinking that um Rioli was gonna grab Groudon, so I thought I would be able to grab Kyogre. I kind of like thought that thought about that long and hard. But when he grabbed um, Kyogre on me, I was like, oh well, I'll take Evel. I don't really, I didn't want to grab Groudon. I decided for Evel because just because it's immune to prankster moves, which Funnily enough, not a lot of people. I thought Prankster was going to be a lot more um, prominent this season, but looking at the, then the teams off the top of my head, I can't really see much apart from like the likes of um, like the Whimsicott. Um, I, I, Lefky, Whimsicott, Lefky. Um, Meowstick, Meowstick, the Riolu, Riolu grabbed. Um, Sableye. Wait, oh Sableye went. And Morgrim yeah. went. Snarl didn't go though, so I was surprised at that. Probably a few of them, but maybe not as many yeah. as you would think, for sure. Yeah. Like, um, that. So I wanted something to cover its weaknesses, so I grabbed Metagross in round two. Like, I don't know how I came across it, but they cover Another each other's bulky weaknesses. steel and psychic toy. Yeah, exactly. Like, they cover each other's weaknesses so well. And, I, like, once I realized, I was kind of like, hold up a second. This could be good. Like, I, I can proc weakness policy if I want on Megros, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to do that. Like, it gets Heat Wave, it gets. Like, if Elko gets Heat Wave, it gets uh, Max. Um, of course. All sorts of stuff. But, um, let me just check the resistances. Like, I think the only w only weaknesses to both of them are Fire on uh, Megros and Electric on um, Ivelto. Both resist Grass really well. Um, Metagross resist fairy. Uh tweak the ghost and dark, which both on boat resists. They they offset each other really well, so I was happy about them too. I grabbed uh Clefable for redirection mainly and just to have a decent fairy type. I want a Clefairy. Um that got taken. I think I was asleep yeah. at the time. Yeah, you left Clef the Clefairy pick for me. And then it got sniped, and I was like, oh, wait, so do I take Gastrodon for him now, or do I take <laughs> Clefable for him now? And we decided to get Clefable, and then luckily Gastrodon yeah. fell to you as well. Gastro fell to me. It's, it's, it's making a return from Season 2. A Fidel Gastro. I'm back. Yeah, my Gastro nickname is Gastro World. I think that's a fire nickname. <laughs> then we, we come to... Um, the snipe of the century, which had the biggest build up, I think, of any snipe <laughs> in the draft. Sn me sniping uh, me and Xiao on Justin. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I don't know what time it was. It was I put into our, like, our group chat saying, like, what do y'all think of me and Xiao? Like, do you think he's good now? And then Justin was. So I was like, okay, I'm draft this next when it comes around. Justin <laughs> is, what, two picks, two picks before me or after me? Uh, he, after, he yeah. Told me, yeah, he told me then he wanted it, and I was like. <laughs> Unlucky kid, this is revenge for Prim in season. Was it last season? Yeah, it was last season. Yeah. Last season, Justin took Prim two picks before me. I mean, technically, oh, technically, you sniped his ride on last season. So yeah, this is like this isn't even revenge. This is just no, like one leg this up. Is just insult the injury. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Let's move on. This is too much heartbreak. Slow King Galar. <laughs> it's, it's a good mod. Uh. You got, yeah. Fucking yeah. send up trick room. Spirit Tomb, just bulky Roserade to deal with some more ground types. Fletchender to set up Tailwind. Lantern for water, well, more water absorb, but mainly Vol, vol Absorb. And Explode, Scrappy to hit some ghost types. Like, overall, I'm happy with it. It has a trick room mode with Slow King and Gastrodon. Also, has fast enough with Fletchender, Mianchow, um, Veltal, and Metagross. But Metagross kind of middling speed, so that doesn't really work. But overall, I'm happy I with it. I rate your team, Wex. I love you, Veltal. Um, it's such a good mod, and you definitely covered its weaknesses pretty well, I think. Um, I think overall, I think overall, I give it, give it, I think like an eight. I think seven point five to eight in that range. I think that's fair. I feel like I Riders, the same thing. I feel like Riders team beats mine. Like it is better than mine. I think. Um, mine's okay. I like mine. I think Riders team just has more mysterious. Like it's more like yeah. you don't know what it's. Like other than Zygarde, and it's it wants to set up and it doesn't want to take a nice attack. 
what R Ryder's going to do is going to be really uh, more mysterious, maybe, than what you want to do, I think. That's the only... Yeah. Yeah, it's, not as, it's not as obvious. Moving from one bulky steel type in Metagross to another in Dialga and Justin's team. Justin... Blackwood button clickers. No, no, no. Baltoids. Baltoids. Uh, oh, my bad. Yeah. I misspoke again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure yeah. Cool. Anyway. Uh... Yeah, my team, I'm pretty happy with my team. I had a few snipes here and there. Uh, I wanted Mantine. Obviously, me and Shao was taken from me. Um, <laughs> but overall, I, I'm pretty happy with the team. Uh, Dialga Rillaboom, I feel like is a really good combo. You get the grassy terrain set up, and Dialga is not going to be taking that much ground type damage. Um, also, I can throw in Pelipper, Rillaboom, and then have... No fire types hit really boom hard. Um, Dialga gets telepathy, so I could run Scarf Jolteon or Nido King with Discharge or Earthquake, depending on the week. So I'm able to just do a whole bunch of damage, which is really cool. Dusknor gives me a Trick Room option with Dialga if I want to, you know, put an Iron Ball on and just be super slow, or if I just want to, you know, just do zero speed weakness policy. Um, I can't proc the weakness policy with Bulldoze because of Telepathy, and I'm pretty sure Telepathy is the only ability Dialga gets, but... Um, is it? I'm pretty sure. I'll double check. I think it gets pressure. Yeah, it gets pressure. Oh, it gets you can pressure. Run. Okay. Oh, bet. Then I can run. Okay, that makes it even better. You know what? <laughs> that makes it even better. Let's go. Well, it have... doesn't even know its abilities. No, I... I listen. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Anyway... We lose uh... this guy. <laughs> he, he anyway... No, yeah, chill. Uh, <laughs> I have Pelipper and uh, Seismitoad is a good synergy there. Uh, I liked you your later pick. The Seismitoad synergy with Pelipper was good. The Slurpuff synergy with Rillaboom, the Unburdened stuff was good. I mm -hmm. like the Sock as like a Mianchow, like... Uh, it's, like a, it's a bulkier... Yeah, it's a Mianchow. Yeah, it, the only thing it doesn't get that Mianchow gets is, I think, like a Fake fast fake out. And then Ooh. wide guard. It doesn't get wide guard, but that's that's literally it. It gets quick guard though, which is nice. I can stop any. I'm confused priority about moves. the coughing. I guess it is cool sometimes to wipe out other people's abilities if that's what you're looking to do with that. I thought I was confused, but I think it could work a little bit. It's it's situational. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use it or if I'm gonna pick up something else at this point. But I'm looking in C tier. Like I'll look right now. I'm not sure if there's anything else I'd want. Maybe Armaldo with the Swift Swim, uh, if Ooh. I want to commit to it. Yeah. Um, it's a rock type that you don't have, yeah. That is true. So I, I mean, it could be good. Uh, I could get Cryogonal for an Ice type. Uh, so you don't have an Ice type. No, I don't. So, there's there's options. There's things I can do. I could drop coughing, but as of right now, I think I'm content on what I have. Um, also, yeah, didn't talk about Meowstic, which is... Uh, Meowstic dropping from S tier to A tier this season is very bold, because it's essentially... It's, it's essentially Grimstar. Like, they do the same things. Like, this Pranksterman is really, really good, and I was looking into it too, until I thought about Regigigas and Weezing until I got sniped, so... I was highly considering Meowstic. It's a very, very good Pranksterman, and drafting an A tier this season... It's been S all the past three seasons. It's a really good grab. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, it gets access to a lot of you know special defense drops. You know, with the fake tears, it gets charm, so you can lower physical attack, which is going to be really, really crucial. Um, so there's Gout, a lot of things screens, like that. yeah, exactly. Thunderwave. You can run Switcheroo and the deck Eject button. button. Yeah. yeah, you get a lot of cool. It's like w combined Whimsicott and. Uh, Grimstar. Just, just, really just without the without the tailwind. I do get tailwind on Pelipper. I don't know how useful it's gonna be considering it's not fast A, and then B <laughs> is also uh not prankster. So I'm not sure how useful that will be for me, but I do have that option if I so choose. Um sure. so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with the team. I think I give you a similar rating to Wex. Maybe maybe a little maybe eight point five. I like yeah, I like the higher. synergy. I like the synergy for your later picks. I give it like an 8.5. I think it's a good team. I can... um, next, swiftly moving on, is my favorite team in the entire league. 
because his picks one after another just worked so well together. Um, so we have Mac, our old man friend, and Mac first round took Indeedy female, which is the best redirection mon in the entire league, yeah. bar none. Um, Psychic Rain and Follow Me stuff is really, un- really good. Um, and he just he built it with a full on trick room team with Stack Attacka and Hatterene. And Re- don't even forget Riolu. Copycat Mixer Riolu with Trick Room is it's going to be dangerous. I love the synergy. I love the team. And then he paired it with some speed options. He got Stoutland, who has great utility with Intimidate. And then it also gets Sand Rush. He picked up a Sandmon and Hapaldon. And he drafted Skeptile, who's already fast, but you give it a Psychic Seed. And Psychic Terrain gets a Spadef boost and doubles its speed. And Reg Ice, we saw in um, our in Riders League, Rider was in the championship, and he lost to a weakness policy Reg Ice, which will be a little hindered by the thing uh, by Restricteds, but it re- weakness policy Reg Ice in Draft League has some viability, and I think. All this synergy and this, th- and don't even forget about he grabbed his his restricted in a tier Zekrom, who ninety speed in a restricted format would work in Trick Room, like it it won't be the fastest thing on the field most times. So a definitely good pick there, and I love Max team. I don't know what you guys think. I think it's really good. I think the sand stream with a Powdon paired with a stack attacker. As well as but being yeah, I didn't able even able talk to, about that. The boost to Oh man. With also being able to set off maybe a possible weakness policy with a pout on. Um it's you can there's a lot of things that can happen with this team. Uh Riolu is definitely something I'm looking at. Stoutland, I'm not too sure of. I also don't have much information on. I know it gets intimidate. And it's it's at like a, a middle speed tier, so it's not the slowest thing, but it's not the fastest <laughs> thing. Changed so with sand rush, with paired with sand rush, doubles its speed in sand. That, that's where its speed comes in. And it has decent, decent bulk, decent offense. It's definitely like best way to describe it is B tier, but it has really good uh, utility and base one ten attack with base ninety defenses. And you put it in sand to give it some speed. It's pretty good. I like it. Oh, okay. Well, in that in that case, that's really good. Um, his team has a lot of synergies, so I, I like it a lot. I, this is a really good team, in my opinion. If I had to rate it, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. 9 and a half for me, honestly. Synergies are too good to ignore, and it's up there, I'd say, top top 2 or 3 in the league right now, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I give it a 9.8. <laughs> I think it's close yeah. to perfect. I, I don't think, think I, think I want to give only... anything perfect. Maybe yeah. we'll find a ten later, but it's close. It's so good. Yeah, my only my only thing is Flareon. I just find that to be such a useless mon. I think that's just a coverage option he grabbed there. Yeah. It's sl- it's not fast, and with guts, it could do some things. It definitely could do some things. Yeah, I just I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Flareon. No, no one is really. Yeah. If you like Flareon, I question you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wex, you. Anyway, bring in the rooster. Oh, Wex. Well, yeah, next we have Rooster with the Yuli Lu Colos. And um, I, at first, I'm not going to lie, I was skeptical of the Calyrex Shadow pick. I did not think it's going to be good in this season. What Rooster paired it with, I see this, the, his team is among the best again. Like, he's Regigigas and Weezing, which Kevin wanted, but he doesn't have, of course. Sadly. He has the redirection in Amoongus to stop potential um, punches or whatever else comes at it. He has Kling Clang, Niver, and Tentacruel, Pikachu. And Brim B tiers. I love them all, especially Kling Clang. I think that's very underrated. Niver and Kev, you had experience with that in last season. Um, and the C tiers, Abomas, No Girder, Munchlax, all good. I I usually grab Girder. I didn't do it this season because I used the last two seasons. I didn't really want it. Um, but Kev, or Justin, do you have anything else to add on this? I honestly think it's among the best in the league. No, it's definitely really, really good. Anything... Weezing Reggie Gigas is going to be absolutely monstrous in the season, uh, especially because it's something that people use on like top tier teams on the ladder. If you get that 
for your draft league while also having another like a restricted and also a Moongus. It's the top four Mons is something you could see on a ladder team just on its own, right? So I like it a lot. I think it's really, really good. I think Noivern with the Tailwind really, really fast. Um, it's it's probably, I would say, top three team, one of the top three teams in the league. But my only concern would be, I don't know what Munchlax is doing. Uh, it's just and, bulky, uh, annoying. Rooster will find some, I don't know the gimmicks, but <laughs> Munchlax with Eviolite is bulky. Really, it's underratedly bulky. So I know Rooster will find some kind of tech with it. He's got something up his sleeve. I, I might have to look into it a little more before if I play him, yeah. just because that's something he'll bring out and that you just catch you off guard. Yeah, and I would say the the prevalence now of all of the max airstreams that are going to be available kind of makes Girder really not great, um, no. unless it's in Trick Room. But who's Rooster has a really header? fast. He has King who's Kling a... Clang as his Trick Room header. Exactly. So it's not. It's not necessarily like the best mod for Trick Room, but it is decent. It is steel type. So it's definitely something that's going to be hard to kill. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's good. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Only yeah. because Obama Snow isn't really eh. I mean, Snow Warning, sure. But it's like eh. I In feel like opinion, people are, people are going to be prepping for like this Amoongus Calyrex. Like you're gonna run goggles and try to hit this Calyrex with a dark move, then you're just gonna get using Gigas, and you're just gonna be like, yeah. oh, okay. Gigas should be an S. I think it should be an S tier now, but honestly, because it's so good compared. In if you draft it, you're gonna get wheezing because who else is taking wheezing after you get it? Essentially, in my opinion, but it didn't have slow start. Reggie Gigas is an S tier. Weezing now makes it an S tier essentially. The Rooster's team has three S tiers essentially, in my opinion, which is just not fun for anybody. I mean, I think um, you could argue Weezing a glaring Weezing to be S tier, only because you get psychic uh, fairy terrain as well with it. Yeah, like, you don't even have to run neutralize the gas. Its third ability is levitate, which gets rid of one of its weaknesses. So yeah. like it, it, it's it gets good tech with taunt and will o wisp. Um, it usually runs protect and then like a it's it, it's a decent like a very bomb, yeah. offensive option. Yeah, you, I mean you run a sludge bomb or you run strange steam. Strange team steam has a secondary effect that I think. Strange strange stream. There you go. Strange steam. No, isn't it stream? Oh no, it's steam. It's steam. Is it? Hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> steam. Um, oh, it may confuse. Never mind. That's not that good. I thought it did something else. Um, but yeah, Steam. It's just, oh, it's just a good mon. It's a very good mon. If we made them both S tier, then like you couldn't really. You'd have to get it restricted in A tier if you yeah. took both of them. But I mean, I, redirection with fast Calyrex will keep it alive despite its two four times weaknesses. Like you guys said Gigas is broken. I really like Tentacruel. I think it offense, especially pretty like it, as a maxmon, getting those spe special attack boosts with max poison, stab max poison, and it can set its rain. I think it definitely has some usage. And I'm excited to see G Max Pikachu. I hope he brings it out with Light Ball. Pikachu is kind of a threat. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, what do you guys? What do you guys rate the team? I, I'd give it a nine out of ten. Nine. Yeah, nine. Safe. Um, think, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying nine. Nine. All right, all right. Yeah, I think. I th pretty, I think it's. it's, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty good team. All right, moving on to Gummy's team. This is what he wanted to draft first overall. So Galio, first pick. Pretty good mon. Pretty good. You get a lot of coverage. You're uh, you're sitting pretty. You can do a lot with So Galio. Spectre being the other S tier, Togekiss being the follow Mimon, which is pretty cool. It's Porygon also the it's also the fairy type that counters Solgaleo and Spectre's dark weakness, and then Porygon is the normal type that counters ghost weakness. Really good type pickings right there. That's brilliant. Yeah, and you can max Porygon Z, like for it sure. Does Adaptability, you max hyper beams do do damage. 
Nice track. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great, great speed control with the max strike. Uh, just a stab normal move is insane. Uh, really good stuff there. Turtonator, Kev, I think you like Turtonator. Picked up in B tier, promoted from C tier last season. Low key MVP of my team last <laughs> season. I mean, I had a couple of low key MVPs, but he's one of them. He does. He's a great special fire type. Fire type. He's pretty bulky, typically, and he gets access to Scorching Sands, which is a good max move that boosts his special defense. And he just he does good damage. He really does. He's a great option for any team. And I was sad to see him go in B tier, but I guess. And same thing with Neuvern. I had them both last year move up the tier, but I think they're very good mons when they're used correctly, like I showed last season. So I'm happy to see it go early too. It was his first B tier pick. Yeah, I was surprised at how early he wanted to take it, but I mean, it can do a lot of work. Shell Smash can make it really viable, especially paired next to a Toga Kiss. Uh, so you can just White Herb. Mm -hmm. Is it White Herb? Right. White Herb. Shell Smash, follow me, Toga Kiss is an always is always an option. Yeah, um, so it's has a lot of usage, especially in Trick Room as well. With his next mod in B tier being Slowbro Galar, um, very nice stuff there. Um, another another bulky physical, on yeah. such a high physical defense. Got high King Galar. Yeah, Kingler G Max though. What do you guys? How do you guys I, feel about that? I don't really know if. If I'm honest, I'm gonna look up what its G Max move does because I don't know the secondary effect. I've never really seen it. Lower Me neither. Speed by two. I don't lower know what it oh, is. Lower speed by two. I was talking to him like because right beforehand I told him like you're drafting Kingler, right? And he messaged me saying, or messaged in the general chat saying that no, he wasn't. But then he probably messaged me saying yes. Stop talking about it. It's really good for speed. G Max control. Foam Burst inflicts damage to a target and lowers all up op all opponents' speed by two stages. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah. That's a Lucky. lot of speed control right there. How have I? How did I not know that? There isn't a brilliant one, but wow. Well. All right, that's pretty well, good. That's a decent that's, pick. And then it's uh, it's C tier is looking very, it's C tier is looking very Justin esque. Yeah, I, I was confused. <laughs> it was, I was confused. He was drafting when he took Thwacky and Rhydon. Like I thought it was you for a second. I was like, wait, hold up, what? Very good. But, he took Thwacky very early too. Um, hey, third round, I believe. It's the second C tier to go off the board after my Lapras. But Thwacky, we as we all know in draft league. Rillaboom's really good, and if you can't get Rillaboom, Thwacky and C tier is an is an insane pick. Fake out Grassy Glide, Woodhammer stuff is it's really good. It does a ton of damage. Depending on if you're like, you could be Focus Ash, Eevee Light, but with Band, oh Choice Band as well, very very yeah. good mon. I don't know what are you, what are you thinking, Wex? Um, overall, like. I was saying this as a joke earlier, but he kind of just took your two teams from the last couple of seasons and kind of mixed them together, like Black and Ride on from Justin's and then taking Turt on you. I'm looking at your team as well, Kev. Like, look his Avalog. I mean, he kind of. I, just... I had to. After I was surprised by Prankster Swagger into own tempo <laughs> Avalog, I have two Prankster Mons <laughs> that have Swagger this season, so. We'll get ready. In that overall, I, I do like the draft. I think that um, I'm not sure it. what Rufflet does in C tier. Is it like a uh, tail, like tailwind, maybe? Like what is Rufflet? I don't know. I'm not. Sure. I know. But, um, I know he did get. I know he did get sniped on a lot of mons. Like I know. Um, I that was his, a trend. Sniped his um. So he was going for slow king. Uh, Galar, but, he just uh, took slow bro. I think, um, I think he was going for Umbreon, and I think um Harrison took that. So he took, I yeah. guess he took more Petco instead. There's mm -hmm. another, there's another one or two that he was going for that I can't remember off the top of my head. Scrafty, Scrafty, well, he wants Scrafty. Scrafty. Oh, um, I took Scrafty for Will, yeah. Will took Scrafty, so like he got sniped a lot, which was unfortunate. Um, it's a decent draft. I'd say it's yeah. on par with Riders, maybe. I think, I mean, so good. Sogaleo's in a weird speed tier, but at the same time, it's and it's not really bulky. It's like 
defense. It has a bad special defense. So, but at the same time, its stats can't be lowered. So you gotta definitely. I think you can prep for it. Um, I think Gummy's, but Gummy has a good team around it. Yeah. Like I said, the Togekiss and Porygon picks in A are insane because they cover the weaknesses of Ghost and Dark. They do a really good job of that, and they also offer other things like redirection, a Togekiss, huge damage Porygon. So. Like, I would say this: it, the only person who can like deal a lot of damage to that is Rooster, um, Calyrex Shadow. If he's just able, like if he's if Gummy runs so really respect here against Calyrex Shadow, one of them is dead from an Astro Brash. Yeah, he can switch in Porygon if he wants, but the other one is just. Can't dead. wait for that matchup. That's gonna be a tough one for Gummy. <laughs> I don't know I what feel, he does. I feel, like, I feel like no. I feel like no one wants to face Rooster though, due to just because of how good his team is. I just don't want to play Reggie Gigas after I got it sniped. Could be saying about it could be saying that about my team and just nope. <laughs> Big sad. Um, let's. I say we move on. Um, got Harrison's team next with the Crobat first round. Um, his team turned out really good, and I wasn't yeah. expecting it. He he saved both of his S tiers till the end, and I they're like he I'll passed. He passed on. Charizard and Venusaur, which are still available. Um, like he could always drop Dragapult for one of yeah. them if it's not working. But I mean, Dragapult's speed here and utility is very, very valuable. It's a little undershadowed by Restricted, but it's still got a really good. It's still faster than most of them. So I mean, it gets countered by like Zacians and the well, not even as much Zacian, but. Lazacian's faster, and Alarex Shadow's faster. It gets counted very well by that. But in Draft League, you don't have to play those mons every week, so... Exactly. Definitely has some... And then he gets Tailwind, basically guaranteed Tailwind with Crobat, which is really cool. Um, Prim is a max mon. We all know how good yeah. Prim is as a, as a max Hydro Cannon and Fairy moves. Are really good. Oh, Life Orb on it? Oh my god. Exactly. Um... Like Rotom Frost is a decent, uh, it 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 could very benefit from. I wasn't proper English, but it needs Blizzard so it can because it's only Ice Move it gets. I mean not Blizzard. It needs Hail because it's only Ice Move it gets is Blizzard. There we go. Um, it's more of a Max Mon I think because of that, especially in this team. So I guess if it has a good matchup against someone's team, he'll bring it as a Max Mon. Umbreon offers really good utility. Um, Snarl, Foul Play. Um, other things like that. Um, Senescorch, I think that's just kind of coverage. I don't, I'm not sure how great Senescorch is. I'm pretty sure he picked this up because he put in the chat that only 4 out of 14 teams have a rock type mod. Well, I'm pretty sure that was part of his reason for picking up because he originally, I don't know why he originally drafted off the top of my head. Um, um, he picked, I'm pretty sure he picked up Senescorch recently in a transaction. Was yeah, it was a, a transaction, player. actually. I, I don't know like what if that's the reason why you picked it up, I don't like it because mons that aren't rock types uh, specifically doesn't mean they don't get rock coverage. Like the Alga isn't a rock type mon; it's Dragon Steel. I still get Power Gem, and I'm still gonna Oko you mm -hmm. if I max and I go max rock. Yeah. Hell, I could Oko you with Power Gem or even Ancient Power for that matter. Yeah. So it's it's pretty feeble when it comes to that. And if that's the reasoning, I don't like it. If he's doing it for just pure fire coverage because he didn't well, have it before, different story. I, I appreciate the pick, and I think I know it has a spot I mean, on your team, but I'm not I'm not sold. Groudon and Dragapult get fire moves, and Groudon sets sun, so fire moves are increased. He drops Senescorch, a four times weakness to rock. He dropped Butterfree, a four times weakness to rock, for another four times weakness to rock, and he got rid of his redirection and sleep stuff. So like Butterfree almost could have worked for like a substitute to Venusaur, not like not picking Venusaur, but dropped it for Senescorch, so I'll be interested to see how that works. I loved I loved the Lilligant pick. Uh, um having a chlorophyll mon late in C tier. Pair up with Sun is really cool. I think Lilligan could do work for his team. Um, and he grabbed Masharna really early. Um, I don't know much about Masharna other than I saw Wolfie won the championship with it in the WBE with Masharna. And it essentially just was like a bulky Rick Room setter with it got like yawn and stuff like that and hit okay. 
special psychic attacks. But teams I mean, are not slow. this team's pretty. Fast. This team's not slow at all. Oh, so, I mean, I guess Groudon could be used in Trick Room, and Prim maybe. I use Prim in certain draft league matchups in Trick Room. I I ran Iron Ball Prim one week. It it can do. It it could be Trick Room, but it's definitely probably better without. But it can run in prison. So you can stop Trick Room with it, but you have Taunt Umbreon, so. No, it, it's definitely he drafted it early, so he's got a plan for it. I'll be excited to see what it does. But yawn pressure and kind of just being bulky is what Masharna does. And then he picked up Fungus as a transaction over Steelix, which I guess g gives him yeah. redirection back. But Fungus is a very odd pick. Well, I would put this in the same category as maybe Riders draft. It's pretty good. Like there is some weaknesses to it, but I think overall it is good. Um, I, yeah. would, I think Mac and Rooster at the moment are still the two strongest. Um, this is definitely like I feel like this is better than my draft. Um, maybe really? I'm par, maybe I'm par with um, Justin's. I think. Okay, uh, oh, I can oh, see that. Oh, I, don't know. I don't. I don't think it's on par with mine. I I, I think it's it's okay. Um, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know, because if you bring Groudon, it's almost guaranteed you're not bringing Prim, because that just weakens your water type moves unless you max. The Prim's an odd synergy with this team. Yeah. yeah, so I'm not too sure how it's going to work out. That's like the main thing I'm looking at, because if you're bringing Groudon, odds are you don't have Prim in the back. And if you do, you're maxing it, right? Get so rid of the sun. I mean, the only way you bring Prim is if you're leading it, like you don't have sun up. What yeah, I'm... that's that's the only so, way. So, so if you see Prim and Groudon, it's either leading it or not bringing it. Essentially, is what I think. Yeah, um, that's like the most efficient way to use it. So, for that reason, not that reason alone, but I'm not sold. I would say, I would give it like a seven point six, seven point. Oh, that's low. I think it's a little better than that. I think it's, but I think it's eight. I think Probably. it's, uh, yeah, maybe a little, a little, yeah, eight's all right. Well, I think eight's. Well, here's the thing Crowback can be taunted to get away. Like a prankster taunt onto Crowback gets rid of the tailwind, right? True. You can't. True. So, like, and there's, like, there's ways to get around his team and, like, fairly, like, much easier than something like a Rooster's team or Gummy's team. So, um, I'm just not sold. I'll give it a 7.7. I'll settle for the middle. I'll give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10. But I'm going to need to see more from it because I'm just not sure. Well, let's, we got a couple more teams to go through. We're almost like halfway done. Let's keep it moving. Next, we have Quartz, the runner-up last season. Um, I you the pick. I think the synergy with Moltres is pretty cool. Um... I think the Ndidi and Mewtwo synergy, it's male Ndidi, so it can't redirect or anything, but it sets Mewtwo's psychic terrain, which is really valuable. I think the best pick that Mal did, uh, Mal, Mal's next, my bad, Quartz, is Ditto. Ditto is, we really uh, under tier Ditto. Yeah. Ditto in a restrict, Ditto you in a restricted format is nasty. If you play it right, you get two restricted mods on the field. Like, if you're getting two on the field at the same time, and you get to match any sort of boosts they have, that's ridiculous, right? That's pretty insane. So, for that to be in B tier, I, I think it's a mistake by us. It is a mistake. It it's definitely an, is a oh, mistake. It's, it's an oversight for sure, but... I blame Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> All but, the tier I mean, changes, and he couldn't pick out Ditto. Yeah, he decided to put Talon in A. That was the main thing. But yeah, but yeah. Whatever. Rod Raichu really works well with Moltres, works well with Mantine, yeah. Sigilyph. Um, it's a good pick there. And you can set, I mean, you could run weak electric move to proc weakness policy on Moltres. Um, Tangrowth Redirection offers nasty plot Moltres. Um, Moltres is going to be a really good uh, Galarian Moltres, I'll add, not normal Moltres. In S tier, um, for cat fast and sin roar, but doesn't do any damage. Um, don't really have to worry about a fire type doing anything to you on this team. Um, yeah. 
Or cat's more of just like an annoying, intimidate, parting shot, fake out, or can't really do much else. Um, Sigalif sets up Tailwind though. Yeah, and Wex, you want to talk about you want to talk about your Sigalif? You like some Sigalif? Yeah. I mean, last season I grabbed it. On season four, I got Sigalif, and honestly, I I really like Sigalif. It's it sets up Tailwind. It has Trick Room, and then it also gets like it's what Magic Guard is its ability? Maybe I can't think of top of my head. Um, it's pretty fast. It can get it can hit off air slashes, psychics, even if it wants to be offensive. It's around really good. It was part of my um, unpredictable lineup in season two for the both set tail and entry room. Like, you see, you're like, you're, like with a lot of mons, you're thinking, okay, this is gonna do this X, Y, and Z. Like, but it's a if you, you it can literally do anything. It's so versatile. Like, honestly, I love out of all of his like mons. I think his B tiers are his strongest. Like they're they're all really good. I agree. Uh, and then moving on to C tier, Agron, I'm not sold on. It's I know it's very like it's. I'm I mean, just it's it's gonna be very situational. I think Quartz Quartz of all people will find a way to use it. Yeah. Um, it's like stack. But not as good because it can't really set up trick room or do any of those things, and it has the two four times weaknesses, which isn't great. Agron is a mon that really benefits from its mega because it becomes full steel type, gets better defenses, better attack, and loses ground typing, which means its four times weaknesses are gone. Um, so Agron's gonna be one of those mons that when you see this team, you're like, okay, maybe it does something to me because it's quartz. But if you if I bring a, a fighting or ground move to be all right. I mean, I think it's going to run Shookaberry or Choppleberry every week, depending on the matchup. And, but Quartz, Quartz of all people could find a way to use it, I think. I feel like it is. And like, then the it, next pick is... Wait, are you going to say something? Sorry, Wix. I was going to say that I think it's one of the strongest, like as usual, I think it's top five. Like, as, uh, along with um, uh, Mac Rooster and two other uh, teams are going to get to, they're my top five. My opinion, at least, anyway. Yeah, but he also picked up Mantine. Now, I feel like for Mantine to work properly, you need a rain setter, which is why I wanted to draft it. I had Pelipper in A tier, so it would make a lot of sense for me to draft it. But for Quartz to draft it, I'm not too sure if you know it was the best pick. It's a C tier water type, and he didn't have a water type before that, uh, and it's its only water type. But now he has, what's this, one, two, three flying types, which offers a pretty big weakness to, to rock, especially if you consider Torcat and then, you know, just Raichu being frail in general, um, even though it, I think it resists. Um, it's, it's something you can definitely look at and say, it doesn't, it kind of sticks out. So... I'm not too sold on the man time pick. I'll have to see if he has any way of setting up, you know, the swift swim portion of it, or if it's just going to be water absorb. Uh, we'll find out, but yeah, not I'm not just most energetic mon that he has. Last thing I want to talk about is Mewtwo. I feel like we kind of just skipped over it. It's a yeah. very interesting. It's a very interesting S tier. Um, it's got really good speed. Good. Got all right bolt. Like it's obviously it's restricted. It's got really good base stats. The bulk's decent, and then it got a put attack stats. You can run it physical or special, where it's a little better special, especially with DD, the synergy in psychic terrain. Mewtwo gets expanding force now, so um, use it. Mewtwo's a good mon out of max with DD. It also can be used in max with a bunch of coverage moves um, if he's not planning on maxing Moltres. Um, final thing I want to talk about this team is. Last season, Quartz had a really good season, made it to the championship, but he was so reliant on the Mon that he maxed to get kills. Like we saw Mudsdale and Celesteela both were top three in kills, but because he just built his entire team around one of them. So I think it's almost very similar. Again, he brought, like his two S tier Mons are going to be his kills, and that's it. Nothing else on his team does damage unless we see some ditto shenanigans. So. Yeah. I give it a I give it another eight. I think it's eight eight is fair. It's got good synergies, but I think eight is fair. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. I think eight is fair. Uh, there's some it has good synergy, but not maybe the best synergy out there. Um, 
And it, it like you said, it lacks kill pressure from a lot of its other mods. Like Sigalith isn't going to be maxing. You're not going to see Torak at max. You won't see Tangrowth max probably anyway. Um, Agron is super has two four times weaknesses, right? Bantine so, can max and set its own rain, but other than that, S yeah, are maxing. yeah, yeah. But then again, you hit it with a physical electric type move while you know lightning rod right not, not on do. the field <laughs> yeah then it, it just it just straight up dies so it there's there's ways there's ways to really hurt his team um but that is it actually is a decent synergy having mantine and raichu on the field at the same time he can't hit it with an electric type move so you have to result to rock which raichu eats freeze dry it freeze dry yeah that's that's actually very clutch freeze dry is also very good but overall, um, yeah, I'd give it an eight. I'd give it an eight. Personally, give it an eight point five. But that's just me. Like I, I, I know I rate the scene a bit more than, as I suppose, just you know, I, I suppose I have a bit of bias towards some baby Veltal up top. Um, <laughs> but I, I really like it. I don't like. I can see where it's but like we saw last season with Jigglypuff on Rooster Team. Like, like I know I beat him when he ran it, but. It can do damage. Well, not damage, but it can mess with your what? Mess with your team. Mess with your toss. Like mm. I switch. It's Frangar, doesn't it? Jigglypuff. Oh. Is it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, it does oh, get yeah. uh, Frangar. Well, I mean, yeah, that as well. So pretty. It, I think it's a pretty solid team. They play. It gets right? competitive. Bring an intimidate mod in front of Jigglypuff. All I'm saying. Exactly. Exactly. All right, next, we... <laughs> next team is a very interesting one. Um, I think it's got a lot of good pieces. I'm another one where I'm synergy. I feel like it's all. You guys can correct me if you disagree. I think this team is all gonna rely on Sableye and what it can and how it can support the rest of the team. It's got some pretty good offensive and bulky pieces, but I think Sableye is gonna kind of. Kind of, I think it's gonna have to carry a little bit, but um, Krozma Dustman, I almost like that mon a little more than Solgaleo because it it's a great weakness policy mon because it takes less damage from super effective hits. Um, I mean you won't have to worry about that Wex because you can you belt all this thing to death, but it's I think it's a pretty good. It's a little slower, obviously, so not as good there and it can be it can have its stats lowered which is also annoying but it's such a good weakness policy threat and then justin you can talk about cinderace after it won mvp last season yeah no cinderace is really really good uh g max cinderace specifically libero is so so broken every move you do is stab pair that with a life orb and you're looking at a lot of damage now from my experience it had options, but maybe not as many as you would like from a Maxmon. Um, you could run special if you really, really wanted to. Uh, Help you once or twice. Once. Once. I think I ran it <laughs> once. Actually, no. I think I ran it twice. Once was good. The other time was bad. But I'm not... Like, if I had the chance and I wanted to, I would take it, like, again, hands down. But... It's definitely something you can kill. It's definitely very, very kill killable. So you got to be careful. And with that, you know, Necrozma and Cinderace both are super effectively weak to ground. Now Cinderace can change its, you know, uh, yeah, Cinderace typing, can change its typing but, with like a bat with a bounce or something. But yeah, yeah, with a bounce, protect, you know, something just so it doesn't. You have effective damage. speed control. You can make sure you move before Cinderace. Um, but this team has effective speed control with Quash. The prankster Quashmon and Sableye. I think it's very cool. Um, mm -hmm. And then it has good speed. Like Nag Naganadal and Cinderace are very fast. Same with Aerodactyl. And Aerodactyl. Yeah, yeah, they're so fast. Very. And don't sleep on the Dene fast. either. I mean, that nuzzle is going to be coming out quick. True. Yeah, very true. And we talked about Quagsire. Um, Wex, you wanted Quagsire, right? I want to um, when I before I draft well I was I was on the verge of drafting Clefable and um, I was thinking what, should I go Clefable or should I go Gastrodon? I decided to go Clefable and it's like if Gastrodon goes I'll pick up Quagsire. 
and Quagsire went before both of them, so I was like, okay. I mean, so, a unaware, unaware mon, yeah, an unaware mon in this in restricted format with all the and max format with all the setups, unaware and the ability to then haze them. Stay alive because it doesn't get affected by them, and then haze them away for your other teammates. Very valuable. On top of being a somewhat bulky typing, other yeah. than grass, obviously. Um, it's definitely... it's. So you picked it up last season and didn't use it, but I can definitely see Mal using it this season. Well, in my opinion, its stats are where it just kind of fell short for me. It's not very. It's it's not super bulky. It relies a lot on its typing to mm. eat hits, um, and yeah, unaware is cool. But I mean, it, for me last season, I just didn't see a real need. I just kind of picked it up because I wanted to drop my other D tier that I think was Steelix at the time. Yes. Um, so yeah, out of ten, and type null. Yeah, type, type null is a. Bulky Eviolite Mon could have some usage. Yeah, I don't so, really know what it's gonna do, but I, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Don't, With I don't Eviolite, think we're it could do it. some damage, but yeah, but I don't, I don't think we're gonna see it to be honest. So, um, out of ten, what X? What are you giving it? Um, seven to eight, maybe seven point five. Um, stick in the same category as mine. But I can definitely see. Salons like Sableye just dictate everything on this team. Like, I think, like like you said, I think it's going like um, Mouse team is going to rely on Sableye a bit, but overall, I do like it. B and C tiers, I'm a bit like, type null. Mm, Stone Journer, bit shaky. Can't on. Talk about type null because it did really good good against me in a singles match. <laughs> overall, I'm, I'm not sure about it. Um, yeah, seven point five, I guess. Um, I'm, 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 going to be excited to see how it plays out. Obviously, Mal always yeah, brings some good stuff. Yeah, I'd also give it a seven point five. Only. Because I'm just... Um, but he is an OG. Finished first overall in Season 1. He really made the playoffs. He was the last spot in the playoffs Season 2. Finished last in the league last season. Was rewarded for finishing last with picking where he wanted to draft. Picked fourth overall. And I was a little... I was like, okay. like I guess that's I can see why you maybe would want to go there. And he ended with a... Nasty front four Pokemon. If Justin, you want to guess away? Yeah, no. Um, Kyogre Tornadoes. Does anything else need to be said? I mean, you get a Prankster Tailwind for a Water Spout Kyogre. That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> then, if you want to, you can also bring in Kingdra, and that in and of itself is it should be bannable. Like this should not have been allowed. But yet here we are. <laughs> We get Kyogre, Kingdra. Kingdra gets Swift Swim. It also gets Sniper. So it's if it has high critical hit moves, it and it crits. It's going to do a lot more damage than you think. Um, I love the Crocodile pick, by the way. You get access to Intimidate, and then its hidden ability. I think it's its hidden ability. Foxy is um. Hold on, I forget what it's called. I mean, it gets three. It gets Moxie, Intimidate, and Anger Point. Point as Anger well. point is actually broken. It raise if you get hit by a critical hit. So let's say he picks up something that can use focus energy and then hit him super and then hit him for a critical hit. Let's just say it's like a not very effective move. If that if that happens, his attack is now times twelve, which is broken. Pair that with a tailwind. Nothing a nothing's going to be faster than it, and b. He's going to do so much damage. I don't care if you four times resist. There's a good chance he will O-kill you. So, 
just that in general <laughs> makes it a tier um but most of the time you will be seeing intimidate on him but i'm just saying that as a possibility is frightening i do not want to see that ever ever <laughs> that's the time i like like the heliolisk pick um just i mean a good electric type we've seen some success with heliolisk in draft league it's got a good speed and it's got decent like decent coverage options and it gets 100 percent accurate thunders in rain i think that's always a good pick um wax you like you've had some success with shinotic if you want to talk about shinotic i'll say this i do like shinotic for this team because when I ran, a, I ran a lot of um, effects more on it, but, but Shinotic's hidden ability is Rainbish, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it is! I yeah, wow. Uh, I paired up with Kyogre. It's pretty, pretty difficult to kill if you don't have Poison type. I usually ran Kebia Berry on it, usually, though, um, mm -hmm. because my Sash was being used up by the likes of Sneasel in the past. Um, Shinotic, I love it. It can, it's 100% accurate. Uh, sleep powders, fours even. Um, it can just sleep everything and then let your other mons do what it wants. It's a I really like it, especially in Trick Room. In Trick Room, it can really, um, it can really go off. But I, with this team, he's not using Trick Room. He has Tornadus, Kilgar, Kingdra. Yeah. His, team, his team is this is an bad. this is an anti Trick Room, and he grabbed Haunter in C tier, can yeah. run in prison stuff and stop Trick Room even more, um, and then. I don't know. Combuskin's an interesting pick. I think it, it still gets speed boost as a hidden ability, like Blaziken. Could be be interesting to see what he does with that, if anything. Kind of weird in a rain team. Um, but Morgrum in C tier, I think, is an underrated pick. We've seen <laughs> Snarl's usage go way up, being able to provide bulk for things with screens and control speed with Thunder Wave. It gets Fake Out, Fake Tears. It gets really good prankster move so i think it's a like you might not see it every week because it's his team's very top heavy with some Ooh. other aspects but it could come out one week and catch some people off guard with i its mean not much, just not much is going to happen if you have more grammar tornadoes leading and just setting up tailwind and, and screen straight away then le leaving kyogre to just come in and just do what it wants with kingdra realistically could happen and it could beat people all right. uh, ratings real quick out of 10 i think i give it a nine 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 a nine nine point five for me yeah i'd give i give it a nine safely also i just want to mention for the next team that we're gonna about gonna go over uh you spelled griffin wrong uh it's not <laughs> f-o-n it's f-i-n so whoever has access to the doc should probably change that <clears throat> anyway um let's get in the griffin's picks uh top four he has kyrex ice Urshifu, is that Surging Strike or Single Strike? Uh, it's he he drafted the Dark and Single anyway. Strike. All right. Well, he has Urshifu sing Single Strike, uh, Talon Flame in A tier by some. You know, <laughs> no, I don't even I don't even want to bring him up. Yeah, we won't we won't get into Lodic, that. My Lodic. Um, in my opinion, this is this is fairly good. Um, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. Uh, and then his B tiers are great because he has three different trick room options or trick room setters. So that pairs nicely with the Calyrex. Four and counting Calyrex itself. Oh, yeah, but ideally, <laughs> you make sure Calyrex doesn't get hurt or you just do damage with the Calyrex yeah, on the first turn. With drafting three other mons that set it up, you can most likely rely on Calyrex just for damage. Exactly. So for me, I, I love it. Uh, Town Flame with the. Uh, the priority tailwind at 126 speed if you're not getting faked out you're gonna absolutely enjoy this uh it literally requires the other person that you're facing to bring a fake out mon or they're getting absolutely screwed by speed um delete it essentially yeah yeah you have to you have to respect it um or else you're kind of just shooting yourself in the foot and putting yourself in a hole that you might not be able to play your way out of and that pairs nicely with the you it makes you want to bring a rock type to cover these two mons, Calyrex and Talonflame, and then it has a fighting type, a really good fighting type in Urshifu, and a really good water type in Milotic to cover the rock yeah. weakness. So I think even the Calyrex, synergy... Even Calyrex does it. Yeah. I think the synergy is very underrated. I think this could be 
you could even make Calyrex somewhat fast under a Tailwind. Like, it could surprise you and outspeed some things. It's Urshifu with a Choice Band in Tailwind. It starts clicking wicked blows and critting everything. Like, don't bring an Intimidate Mon in front of a Milotic. I tell you that right now. You will regret it. Another yeah, thing I that think... he could do uh, is he could Speed Spot. Uh, sweet speed spot. I was, yeah, I thought you were going to talk about speak. that. He's going to speed swap with Rabombi with the Calyrex. And now your Calyrex is now 124 speed while still having the same stats as before, making it just mm -hmm. an absolute beast, right? Bringing so the tailwind that after up. that. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even need it. Like, you could just run Rabombi and then Calyrex, yeah. speed swap the first turn. And my God, it's going to do a lot of damage. And if you max, oh man. I mean, Glacial Lance is probably best without maxing but you could max it and you could do a lot of damage so max speed max speed rebombi in vgc format is 193 <laughs> you're speed swapping that under calyrex <laughs> that, that, that's scary Adds, yeah uh aroma is always a good fairy type um and then the Round out the C tier, Bear Tick, Hitmonlee, Electabuzz. I'm not too sure about Electabuzz, but it is very, very fast and it's an electric type, so it covers. Uh, it's like Nuzzle, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Well, Hitmonlee, uh, I like, but not like at the same time because I'm pretty sure it's its defense stat that's absolute dog and its HP, I think, is only 60. So it's very feeble when it comes to that, but its special defense is decent. But it does get wide guard, it gets poaching, it gets uh, quick guard, I think. Uh, so it gets a lot of options uh, for like. It's unburdened. It's another unburdened mod. Exactly. He doesn't have a terrain setter though, which is one of the things you have to look at and be like, eh, I'm not sure. It's very. It's especially bulky, but it has yeah. 53 defense and 50 HP. Uh, uh, does it get inner focus? No, it does not. Its abilities are limber, reckless, and unburdened. Yeah. Okay, unburdened is a big one. Hey, 120 attack stat in C tier is not something to. That's pretty decent from C tier. You can't you can't scoff at it, but Bear Tick, uh it's you set up hail with Calyrex. They're a max ice move. You could bring in the slush rush. Bear tick could do some things. I think that's a mon you probably won't see as much, but it could could have some usage. Um I think I rate it I think it's a solid eight. I think eight is yeah. good here. I, I'd say eight point five. I think it could do really? big things. And we're sleeping on the Milotic pick, I think, because set up a few coils and this thing is mm -hmm. going to be absolutely hard to beat um key my is never i think 8.5 yeah all right i think 8.5 let's probably. move on to the zacian team this guy got zacian and glass Trier, which is very interesting considering his only trick room setup is Espeon? Espeon? Did Espeon get? yeah yeah so, Glass Trier most likely being used out of Trick Room here. I mean, Glass Trier is bulky enough where... And you put it next to a Friend Guard, Clefairy, taking less damage. Glass Trier is very interesting. I think it it's always a threat. But... I want to talk about Zacian? Or do we want to just kind of uh, not I mean, think about it? <laughs> I, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> we, the only thing I'll say about Zacian is... And then Wex, you can go. Sorry. Um, is... Perserker and Zacian, which I mean, we would we'll still never forgive you for telling him this. Perserker gets access to Steely Spirit, which boosts your ally's steel type steel type moves. So as if Behemoth Blade wasn't doing enough damage already, you pair Zacian next to Perserker, and it's it's clicking buttons. That's all I'm gonna say. Wex, you can say what you were gonna say now. I was pretty much gonna say the same thing. I was just gonna be like, this whole team is basically Gummy's fault. Um, <laughs> Gummy draft. First of all, Gummy didn't draft Zacian. He let it fall to Germ, and then he told Germ about Berserker Steely Spirit, which Germ then used. So, <laughs> my opinion is gonna be like, if they face each other, it's gonna be just poetic nearly if Germ just beats him with that. I think Gummy's team is a is fairly decent against Steel other than like Togekiss. Um pff, team is a bit weird for the trick room. I'm set with Espeon. Yeah. Oh, 
Glass Steer is a weird synergy here. Um, so this, he is very fond, fond of his EV illusions. He gets Vapor on Espeon and then he gets EVG Max and C tier. That's pretty cool. And his C tiers are very confusing. I think he drafted them very late. Uh, I'm not sure what any Pukamuku is. I don't know what it does. Innards out, basically. Yeah. If someone just tries to kill it in one go, it, it'll take you out as well. Simple as. <laughs> and it gets counter and stuff like that. It's a very yeah. weird mon like that. Um, Cutie Fly, I mean, if you're speed swapping 84 speed, that's a lot more manageable. <laughs> I mean, if you, I mean, if you give. If you give Glastrier that speed, it like max speed Cutie Fly. I mean, it, it could. I, I don't know. It may That's be pretty. It. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. It's not. It's. It's definitely super situational because if you run it, it needs Focus Sash, which is arguably oh, what yeah. you would be running on. Uh, wouldn't you? Wouldn't run Life Orb on Cutie Fly? No, no. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I, I would. Um, I don't think yeah. I would. I might run a Salt Vest though. <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure yeah, it survives. Sol Vest speed swap. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense to me. That definitely works. No, but I'd, I'd, I'd give I'd, I'd give this team like it has Zacian on it. It's very top heavy though. I, I'm Zacian not... next to friend guard. Salamence next to friend guard. Yeah, but he can't not... max. He can't max the Zacian. That's the thing. You're, you're seeing Max last year or Salamence every week. Yeah. Um, and if they get, if Salamence gets rolling with Moxie, it's kind of just game. Glass year gets rolling with Chilling Nay, it's kind of just game. But, it, like, uh, I feel like it had potential to be the best team, but it, it kind of missed the mark with some of the B tiers and the C tiers are kind of just not it. So it's very I, fast. I'd give it, oh yeah, it's absolutely very fast, but what does it do in Trick Room? Yeah, Glacier, Glacier, yeah, but that that's it, that's it. I mean, Clefairy, sure, but outside of that, that's that's really it. Um, so for for reasons we've already just talked about, I'm gonna give it an eight. I feel like it could have been better, but it's still like, very good. Yeah, I'd probably go eight point five, but I can. It could. You be know what? You're right. No. I'm, I'm going to say 8.5 just because it's Dacian and its base speed is almost 150. What am I thinking? 8.5. <laughs> Max in front of it. It dares you. Do it. Next to friend guard. Ready to kill it before it kills you. Luck luckily for me, I have G-Max, Rillaboom, and Dialga. So I think I'll be okay <laughs> as long as I don't max. Yeah. I mean, Potentially. Um, I, I think we, we can... Oh, no, go Wex. What are you saying? I was gonna say, yeah, I think it is an 8.5 as well, even though like some of the synergies are off. It's like it's very top heavy and it's too strong not to have as an 8.5 or 9 at least. <laughs> it, it's, yeah. it's very good. The potential to yeah, it's... sweep the league if some of the picks were more um, official towards Gloucester Air. Um, overall, it's really yeah, good. If it, I, feel, I feel like if the B tier and the C tier were just slightly better and more synergetic, um, I mean, Berserker with Zacian is obviously very good. I just don't know specifically what Chinchinio... Oh, Chinchinio has after you. So we could use that with last year, which could be really, really good. Ooh. Okay. No, I I'd still keep it at 8.5, but that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, mm. Espeon gets, like, skill swap and things like that. I mean, there's a lot of tech you could do with it, though. I'm just... It's just not... I don't really like Salamence. I think another A tier, a better A tier, could have been like a good Maxmon in A tier. Oh, I agree. Be, I agree. Be, I'll be. I'm very intrigued to see what it does. And there's definitely some tech maybe, with it. And Zacian maybe maybe a Blaziken might have been better here. Blaziken could be cool. Yeah, it gives you that fire coverage you're missing. Maybe a Maxmon that works a little better in Trick Room. Um, I don't know. Possibly, yeah. Anyway, 8.5, 8.5. So let's move on to the last team, the newest addition to the league. We have Will, New England Palkias. Top four mons being Whimsicott, my my dearest, dearest Whimsicott. Eternatus. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Uh, Eternatus, <laughs> Volcarona, and G Max Blastoise. Guys, how are we feeling about the top four? Uh, I saw. See, he was 
I picked Zamazenta and he messaged me and says, damn, I was really thinking about it. And I was like, I did you a favor uh, because Whimsicott next to Eternatus clicking fake tears. No one wants to face. No one wants to deal with that. I, I can't think of one team that wants to deal with that um, other than Gummy because stats can't be lowered. And I guess Wex because he's got Metagross. Stats can't yeah. be lowered. I would um, say Quartz as well. He has Ditto. Drew, you could just copy. Um, but base 130 speed and base stupid special attack. I don't even want to know what its special attack is. Um, it gets 145. And there is a lovely set going around. There's a lovely set going around the world right now because they decided to give Eternus Camp Max, right? It can't max. So we'll give it 130 speed, 145 special attack. Give it a max move that, um, oh, a mo not a max move, a move that essentially eliminates Dynamax, unless you're a fairy type. And we'll also give it a Meteor Beam. So you could run Power Herb Eternatus with Meteor Beam and give it a special attack boost. Is that Because that was never necessary. <laughs> Whimsicott and Eternatus is a broken combination. A broken com. I mean, Whimsicott makes most things broken, but Eternatus is a broken mod next to it. And then you go down to A tier, and it gets Redirection Volcarona, and it gets Blastoise, who is great next to a Tailwind Whimsicott. It's great next to Volcarona, unless you're Goggles, because you can, like we said, a Rage Powder and Shell Smash. Um, Blastoise is a great mod with Fake Out, Shell Smash, Water Spout, you can run physical or special. And the rest of his team, like it's kind of after that, it kind of gets like the synergy gets kind of off, but they could definitely offer pieces that will be like offer decent things. Like Scrafty's a good fake out mon. It gets um and Jinx is another fake out mon. Jinx gets some cool stuff. Age of Slash is interesting in this format. It yeah, I'm not really a big much fan. success. Rotom could be an underrated Maxmon with airstreams and stuff like that. Oh, you, you didn't see what I did. I said I'm not a big fan, and you went into Rotom and it's Rotom. Uh, I okay. okay I, I just I was, get like I one was, sympathy was, laugh, just one out of pity. It was in the zone. I didn't oh. see it. I mean, that's. I'm I'm sure. gonna mute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mute Justin, so you know. Just... So you never oh, had to hear okay, anything like that cool. Again. <laughs> that's doesn't want to hear the thoughts of a winner. My bad. Yeah. I, I think keep my thoughts to myself. Basically, my assessment is that Whimsicott and Eternatus is broken, and Volker and NG Max offers really good options as well. And I'm not excited to play this team. I don't like playing Will to be like from the last podcast. I didn't really mention how much I hate playing Will. Preferably, like not preferably. God no, not preferably. Especially in singles, Will does not. I I can't be Will, and now I have to play this broken team in doubles, and I'm not looking forward to it is all i'm gonna say if anyone else like to offer suggestions please go for it i don't want to look at it anymore yeah i mean right now if you have a freeze dry mon you're you're sitting pretty comfortably because it's mm -hmm. perfect against Wimsicott, eternatus blastoise ronan fan and sandaconda so that's five just off of one move which is pretty nice um but overall, this team is absolutely ridiculous. Speed control is everything, and they have it. He has a Trick Room Mon and Behem. If he wants to run it with Blastoise or uh, I don't, maybe I don't think an Age does, of does it not? Does Behem not get Trick Room? Like his team isn't very. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely not Trick Room. It no, it's be. definitely not Trick Room. It's you can pull it if you really wanted to, with Blastoise or Age of Slash or Scrafty. Maybe even beware, but it, it's not necessarily set up for that. It's set up for tailwind and you're dying from fake tier sludge bomb or uh, meteor beam or something, and it's going to hurt. And before iron ball eternatus. <laughs> God no, that that halves your speed, right? Yeah. yeah. So he'd he'd still be at sixty five. That's not terrible for. Oh God, that's not terrible for trick room. <laughs> Yeah, no, but like... this this team is fast. The only matchup against it is Trick Room. Like Mac is Mac is looking pretty. Other than that, I mean, we're all in trouble. <laughs> big big <laughs> yeah. trouble. Yeah. 
The only, the only way, the only good thing I can see is that Wheel is a singles player and it won't be used to doubles draft league. And uh, but after a couple weeks, he's gonna get adjusted. And I'm not. I'm just, I hope I. Play not, I don't want to think about that, man. I, I really don't want to think about it either. It's, it's gonna be painful when Zakati turns. Uh, God. But Will Smart. He's got a good team. He knows draft league. Even if he's more singles, he knows what he's doing. And this team, I give it. Just I give it. A ten. I give it. A, I give it close to a ten. I think it's. I, I think it's a nine point five. I think it's a nine point five. This is nine point five is fine. The the, the right, front four. Five. I'm not ready for it. It's just so strong, and it's like you don't have a one man fights all for these guys because they're so different. You have a grass fairy, you have a dragon poison, you have a bug fire, and you have a, a water type in Blastoise, who gets a lot of coverage. So it's like, oh, what what's gonna what's gonna be able to counter this? And it's like I don't know prayers, I don't pray. <laughs> that that's really it. Like. <laughs> Uh, oh, Wi-Fi goes down for like three weeks. He forfeits the match. That's that's something, right? You unplug the router. Um, yeah, no, pray. I I don't. The one thing I don't like uh, too too much is beware. But that's mainly because I don't know what it does. And then also, I've used Scrafty before. I'm still not a big fan of it. It's and it's very slow. He told me that he told me to draft beware for him. He said want a bulky normal type that can click sort of stands i was like I mean, yeah sure every team needs that why not <laughs> yeah i mean yeah you'll find out that's probably not gonna work too well to his advantage but we'll see we'll see we'll see uh, you never know you never know but yeah nine nine point five out of ten it could have been a 10 out of 10 um, Lex, what I, you I, saying? I, personally, I just I'll like scrappy i think it's a nine slash nine point five it's the maybe if he changed age slash for something or no very top heavy i think i can see something like Rowan obviously doing a lot but um general like he could have done better i feel like it's a lot like germs in that way like if his b tiers were a small bit better it would have been like 10 out of 10. But, yeah it's still really good it's probably up there i think this I think team has the best synergy in the league yeah Especially with the top two, I think. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's gonna it's gonna be a top three team. If one thing he figures out doubles, he's gonna be top three with this team. One thing I can comment on is Whimsicott doesn't want to max. The Turnitus can't. Volcarona doesn't. The rest are kind of meh. I can see Rotom and Blastoise. Blastoise Aegis Rush right. is bulky if it maxes, but it is meh. It's Blastoise or Rotom, essentially, I think. I mean other mon could maybe, but they're they're their threads. I would guess. Jinx, Jinx, worse and Jinx Max. I'm not sure what that does. If I'm if I'm being completely honest, I mean, it definitely could in certain situations, but I I just don't see anything other than Whimsicott turning is just leading every single week, and him just pressing fucking Tailwind and then Meteor Beam and then Fake Tears and then like Sludge Bomb or Sludge like Wave with the Protect. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna, I can't it's wait until Will doesn't realize that Eternus got gets power or meteor beam, and then like we he watches oh. this and he's like, he's like, oh, what the thanks, yo, like. No, he definitely. There's no way he doesn't know. Okay, hey, there's no way. It's a new if move. I know. You never know. Knows. <laughs> you know, because I just said it. No, I know because I watch Aaron Cybertron Zang. Okay. I watch his shit. I know my stuff kind of somewhat. Not really, but slowly getting there. If you watch Aaron, you should know what Jinx does. Oh, uh, I haven't watched, watched all, I haven't watched uh, all of his stuff. I know Zygarde kind of just dies. So. <laughs> is that what you gathered? R all right, Rider's team is a, a two now. Zygarde just dies. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, listen. If I, okay. Personally, if I hit him with my fucking... If I max and I hit him with a blizzard, it's dying. It's just dead, right? There's no way Zygarde lives. That, that's Not just you buried Zygarde. Point, point blank. Watch, watch Zygarde just sweep my entire team now that I said that. Yeah. Um, oh. No, but <laughs> Max Hailstorm destroys Zygarde completely. So, I mean, it'll be very difficult for that to live. Just focus on Zygarde. Berry, Yachi Berry or oh, focus. Ew, that's disgusting. Then you guarantee you get the 
the yeah, I mean, it's low health, and it's not a great speed tier, so I don't know if that's the best idea, but there are ways to guarantee you get the other form, but... It's, it's only, pretty the, funny. Though. The only thing the other form guarantees you is more HP. The other stats don't boost. But like, essentially, if you get it to half health, it's like you didn't get it to half health, where the boost comes in. You so get you it to half health, it's, it's like you didn't. It's like yeah. you didn't take any damage. You get him to fifty percent, and then you, you do the move again, and you get him to twenty-five. It's like <laughs> the fuck? What the what the what the hell just happened? Well, I think that wraps up the yeah. uh, draft. So what we say in best teams are Mac, Rooster, and then like Riolu or Will. Is that what we say? I, 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 I'd stick courts with them as well. Um, interesting. Okay. I'm just going to um, I'll ask you this. After, say, five weeks, who do you think is top of the league? After how many weeks? Five? Five, maybe. Like, even if it's end of the season, who do you think is more, most likely top of the league? In my opinion, in that teams, it could either see Rooster or Mac being top of the league. I would say Rooster. Hmm. Be, I'm going to say myself because I'm an excellent battler and I'm great. So, yeah. For that reason, you're going to be the bottom of the league and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. I probably um, I think, hmm. I think Rooster is a solid shell, to be honest. I think Rooster is def has the capability in the team to be top in the league. <laughs> I think you can't sleep on Gummy. His team's really, really good. Um, <laughs> can do Trick Room, can do uh, Follow Me shenanigans. Um, he gets Thwacky as well, which is always. Can it do Trick good. Rooms? Who said it's Trick uh, Room? Oh, yeah, Slowbro. Slowbro gets Trick Bro. Room, and I'm pretty sure Port is uh, so Leo. Yeah. Hurt. Yeah, yeah, so really good option. Option. yeah. Um, so it's either for me, if Gummy plays his cards right, he could be top of the league. And I think if Will just recognizes it's not singles, it's doubles, and he gets good at doubles, <laughs> it, it, without a doubt, he, he should be favorite. But because he's mainly a singles player, doesn't have a lot of experience with doubles, um, I can't firmly say that. But given his team, oh boy. And I think Riolu. I think Gummy, Will, and Riolu are probably my three to look out for. Interesting. Anything else, boys? Any final thoughts? I've been going for over about an hour and a half now, so I think it's about time. Oh, man. Yeah. That was a long one, boys. Enjoy. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us here. Thank you guys so much for listening, for watching, for enjoying our content. And I just want to make a quick side note. We are not experts. We're going to miss some things. It's not going to be 100% accurate. But we are going to give our takes. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. But signing off, I'm Gronk. I'm with Kevin. I'm with Wex. It's been the NDA podcast. And we will see you next week with probably a schedule update and a week one update. So, yeah. Thanks for a quick draft. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Forward to that, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, leave suggestions, and that's been us. Peace out. Yeah, guys.